Hey, how y'all doing out there? Back at you again with another video. Today I'd like to do my review for the Asus Zenfone 6. Now, of course, you can pick this up Amazon.com or eBay. And the price I got for this phone was $549. GSM only phone only. Sorry, Verizon and Sprint. If you have those, you cannot use this device, unfortunately. Now, I'll tell you right now, right from the beginning, I like this device. Now, it's missing some things that I need and that I would like to have. But overall, this is a really good device. You're getting a whole lot for half the price of those more expensive flagships that cost you over $1,000. So, I'm just basically telling you, you don't have to spend over $1,000 to get a quality flagship I mean, to get a quality phone. And this phone happened to have flagship specs. So, but I'm not going to call it a flagship because a lot of people are not familiar with Zeus. Now, they've been around for quite a few years now, and they really make good quality phones. Now, some people are not going to trust them because they're not just familiar with them. You know, most of the people I know, you know, in the United States, they're more Apple and LG and the Pixel and Samsung, you know. Those are companies they know and that they're used to and they've been around for a long time. So they're going to feel more comfortable with them. But you're missing out on other quality products because you're just caught up with the same old you know, company all the time. Get out and try something different. There's a lot of good quality companies that make quality products. And you're not going to know that if you just keep picking the same thing all the time, especially with the prices for those other devices constantly skyrocketing. So get out there and check out other devices. Now, this is a good quality device with flagship specs. And of course, I already went over all the specs, so I'm not going to do that again. But I might mention some things as a part of the things I do like. All right, let's get started. Now, first, I'm going to tell you about all the things that I like, and then I'll tell you about all the things that I don't like, and then I'll get into the features then I'll be finished. Hopefully I can do this quickly, but it might be a little long, especially when I get into all the features because this phone has a lot of features. So please be patient with me. First thing I like about this device is the price. $549, I love the price. Now, normally when I do these reviews, a lot of times the first thing I don't like is the price. But I'm glad to say, once again, I'm happy with the price that's actually something i do like 550 dollars for this is a great price for this device you won't be disappointed you won't honestly all right the next thing i like about this device is the build quality now it's a glass front glass back gorilla glass six and it has a great build quality i love the build quality of this device now for those that like to use Cell phones without a case, I wouldn't recommend only because these phones that's glass on the front, glass on the back, they tend to be a little slippery. Now, if you think you can just be that careful and not drop it and, and, and shatter it, then more power to you, but I would recommend a case. Now, it does actually come with a clear back cover case in the box, which is what's on it. What's on it, you know, it's on it now. So that's actually good. I like that. So at least you could protect the back of your device. And also, it gives you more grip. You don't have to worry about the phone slipping out of your hands because I can't use this phone without a case because it'll just slip right out of my hands. Now, it's not as slippery as the LG G8 X, X8, but you know it's still slippery because it's glass. It's not a frosted back or matte, matte back, so it's going to be a little slippery. So that's the second thing I like, the build quality. It is comfortable to hold in the hand without a case. And the build quality is excellent. No problems with that. Next thing. No notch. Now, of course, I always love stuff like that. Always. Now, I, do, I am using a back background only because I don't want to blind nobody. I usually always use um, HD wallpapers, which is very vivid, very colorful. But I decide to go with just a black background so it would be easier on your guys' eyes. But this is a all screen display. Super, super small chin and no forehead whatsoever. None. This is all screen. 92% screen. 
screen to body ratio. So I love the fact, no notch, okay? All right, the next thing, the flip up camera. Now the flip up camera is nice and I'll show it to you real quick, which I did another video, but I'll show it to you again. Look at the very top of the display. And it makes a sound. See that? Let me do it again. Look at the top. Go back down. So I like that. I like that's cool. So that's basically your front facing camera. And all because you're using basically the back cameras as your front facing camera. Because this doesn't have a built in front facing camera. So, the, you know, you're always going to get really good quality shots when you're using the rear. Because usually the rear cameras are usually better than the front anyway. Um, you know, most of the times on most phones. So you're going to get a good quality selfie on this device. Okay. So I love that. And I love the faith, the fact that, you know, it flips up and you got, you know, face unlock in there. All right. All right. <clears throat> Next thing, the cameras. Now the cameras on this phone, I like them. Now it's only two, which is on the back, but they take really good shots. Let me show you some pictures I took. And you can judge for yourself. All right. Now, this is a picture. Okay, maybe I need to turn the brightness down a little bit. Because I want you to be able to see it. All right, let me see. If that'll make it a little better. All right, hope you guys can see that. Huh? Okay, hope you guys can see that. Now check that out. This was the this is the interior of my car. Now that's a good picture. I like that. Okay. This is uh at the gym. You know I was taking pictures outside of the gym. This thing takes really good quality shots. Now of course not Pixel and iPhone and their level, but these these pictures are good. I mean it has a Sony sensor in there you know two sony sensors so that's pretty impressive it's a trash can i you know picture of a trash can i took nice nice detail i mean these pictures are not bad this i took inside the gym of course the lights are going to make things a, maybe a little distorted but i was using a wide angle lens took this the front of my vehicle side of my vehicle This is my shot of my neighborhood. Another shot there. Look at that. That's that's pretty good. I mean, I, I like these cameras, honestly. They're pretty nice. You're going to get some really decent shots with this camera. Now, of course, I took a portrait. But look at that. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good selfie. Now, I'm not talking about me, so to speak. I'm just talking about the camera. Uh, but I like it. There's another one. Nice detail, nice clarity. I like it. With me and my big head. Now, this has a night mode on here too. Now, I took this in my break room at my job. And I'm telling you, the lighting in that room is terrible. It's, it's really bad. Now, I'm going to show you the, the one that's going to show you the regular lighting. Now, this is a little darker, as you can see. Look how much brighter this is. Now, this is using night mode. So the night mode on here is pretty good. It lights up things pretty well because you can see the difference with that one. That This is how it normally looks. And this is using night mode. Oh, sorry. This... All right. So you're not going to have any issues with the camera. At least I really like the cameras on here. Definitely. Some nice cameras. Definitely. All right. Next thing, the dual speakers. Now I'm telling you, <laughs> the dual speakers on this phone are excellent. They sound really good. And I'll let you hear the speakers when I play a movie. Okay, we go to my Amazon Prime.
Dual stereo speakers, yo. <laughs> so as you can hear, these speakers are super loud. They sound <clears throat> super loud and they sound really, really good. So you're not going to have an issue with these speakers. Now, these speakers compared to that LG 88X8, like night and day. The speakers on that phone are trash. I'm sorry. They're just absolute garbage. But these are some, these are the way stereo speakers are supposed to sound. And this phone is $250 cheaper than that phone. They sound way better. All right. So you're going to love those speakers. And you have outdoor mode. So <clears throat> outdoor mode, basically, you turn that on when you're outside in a, in a, in a noisy environment. The speakers are not going to have the full sound, you know, like they would have if you didn't have it on. It'll, it'll be a little more tinny. But it'll be way louder, so you'll definitely hear it outside. So I like the fact that they add an outdoor mode to that as well. All right. Next thing I like, the battery. This thing has a 5,000 milliamp battery. Now, right now, I'm I'm on three days and 20 hours of on this one battery charge. Now, I haven't been using the phone that much. You know, it's been probably using it pretty light. But that's still ridiculous, like light to moderate. That's still ridiculous, though. I mean, think about that. Over three, three and a, almost three and a half days on the same on one charge. So the battery on here is the beast. You'll love the battery. OK, big 5000 milliamp battery. And it also has 21 watt fast charging. So you'll be able to charge up quickly as well. Next thing, I like the fact that this phone has screen recorder, NFC and FM, FM radio, which is cool. I like also that you could double tap to wake the screen. You could double tap to sleep the screen. That you could do either. I like that. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I had to put my pen in. Alrighty. Next thing. I like the fact that this phone has expandable memory. Once again, $549 expandable memory now pixel no expandable memory one plus no expandable memory iphone no expandable memory i don't get it and they charge you way way more than this does now you could expand this memory up to one terabyte i don't know about you all but i need expandable i need a phone with expandable memory a phone without it i mean unless it has 256 to 512 I mean, that, that's cool, but I still prefer a device with expandable memory. And I like the fact that they can expand this just as much as my Note 10 Plus up to one terabyte. So I like that. Next thing, I like the storage capacity. It starts with 128 gigs of internal memory. And there's, other, there's two other variants you can get. You can get a 256 variant of this phone, and you can get a 512 variant of this phone still along with that one terabyte of expandable memory so that's impressive i like that next thing i like face unlock now well face unlock with the flip up camera i like the way you could open your you know turn it on and that camera flips up and, and unlocks the phone i like that now that's actually a thing i don't like too and i'll let you know when i get to the things that i don't like but I do like the fact that that flip up camera is on there and it's also has face unlock because that's something different. I mean, most cameras, you know, are built into the screen and some people may be a little leery about using something like that. And how long is it going to last? And could I possibly break it and all that? Just to let you know, this phone has built in drop detection built into the camera. So 
if the phone feels like it's falling, the camera will automatically retract before it hits the ground. So that's good. So you don't have to worry about breaking it like that. But how long will it work flipping up and down, flipping up and down? I don't know. So you don't have, but the thing about it, you don't have to use the face unlock. You could just use your fingerprint sensor, which is on the back of it. So you do have options or you could use a pattern. You could use a pin or you could use a password. So you have options. All right. Next thing. I like the fact that this phone comes with the Snapdragon 855 octa-core processor with the Adreno 640 GPU. Like I said, again, flagship specs. Okay. Top of the line stuff right here, y'all. And the next thing I like is that it has Android 10. Okay. I love that. Android 10. As soon as I booted it up and put my information in there, it automatically updated the Android 10. So I like that. And the next thing I like, the software. The software is very snappy and very smooth. Let me give you an idea. Let me close everything. And then I'll open up some stuff and you can see how fast it opens up. Okay. Okay. See how fast that opened? And I closed that. See how fast that opened Spotify? Yahoo. Boom. Everything opens up really, really quickly. No time at all. Quickly. This thing wastes no time. I mean, I mean, technology has come a long way with these phones because I remember, you know, I have phones that don't, come nowhere near is opening up this fast not even close and now everything just boom just pop up now i'm using these navigational buttons and i'll let you know why in a minute why i'm using them now normally i would use the gestures because i like those better so as you can see it's fast smooth no lag at all i mean everything is fast it's a 60 hertz display it's not 90 but it's fast enough and it's nice and smooth. Okay, as you can see. All right, so I like the software a lot. And I'm actually using their UI. So I didn't put, I didn't, um, I'm not using Nova Launcher, which is very rare for me, but I like their UI. It's not bad. I don't have any issues with it. Next thing this phone has a headphone jack, 5,000 milliamp battery, y'all. Headphone jack. Just like, the, this is the younger brother of the other phone I did, the, R the Asus ROG2. That also had a headphone jack too, but it had a 6,000 milliamp battery. So don't tell me, Samsung, that because the Note had a 4,300 milliamp battery, you couldn't put a headphone jack in there. It's nonsense, okay? So I love the fact that it has a headphone jack. The next thing, I love all the features. And I'm going to get into the features after I finish with all the things that I don't like. This phone has a lot of features that are useful, not just flimsy, fly-by-night features that you don't need, features that you never use. No. These has actual useful features. And I'll get into that once I get after I finish telling you about the things I don't like. Next thing, I love the fact that this phone came with headphones in the box. That's a shout-out to you, LG, the Pixel. No headphones in the box. Like, really? Like, come on now. You're going to charge people almost $1,000, and he's looking at you OnePlus. OnePlus, no headphone jack, no headphones. Pixel, no headphone jack, no headphones. LG, headphone jack, but no headphones. And I hate that. It makes no sense. And this device is half the price of those devices, except for OnePlus. They like 600 and something. But still, why can't you put a set of headphones in the box? I'm just going to keep talking about it until they do because you can get $200 devices with headphones. And you mean to tell me a seven, eight hundred, nine $900, $1,000 device with no headphones? It's ridiculous. All right. So that's all the things that I like about this device. And it was quite a bit. Oh, I forgot one more last, one last thing. This phone also came, which is what I said earlier, with a protective case in the box. So you, they gave you a protective case and they gave you a set of headphones. 
That's what I'm talking about. And it don't have to be nothing expensive. Just give it to me. Come on now. It's, it, it, it's not that deep. Like, put it in the box. You want people to spend all this money, but you don't want to give them what they need. I don't I just I just don't understand that. So there's a lot of things I like about this device. And now it's by 18 things that I liked about this device. So let me quickly get into the things that I don't like, which is not many at all, honestly. The display brightness. Now, I did turn the brightness down on this, but I gotta turn it up if when I get into the features, I'm gonna be able to I have to see it. But when I have it on my regular wallpapers, the display is just it's, it's kind of dim. You know, it's not bright enough for me. I need a screen that's a little brighter. Um, so that's my only issue. with. You know, it's not my only issue with the display, but it's not bright enough. OK, I prefer something, you know, a lot brighter, more nits. Next thing, no always on display. That's important to me. I need a phone with an always on display. When I turn my phone off. This is what I want to see. I want to see my notifications. I want to see the time. I want to see my battery percentage. I want to see the date. I need this. Okay. I need it. So that's another thing I don't like. Next thing. This phone has no wireless charging, which is very unfortunate because it's loaded with so many things, but yet no wireless charging. That's unfortunate because it has a glass back. So it's capable of having wireless charging. And it didn't have to be fast wireless charging. Just give me wireless charging. So that's something that's missing, unfortunately. I need wireless charging. I like wireless charging. And I like the convenience of wireless charging. Just to sit my phone on the dock. Boom. You know, check to see if the, the light is lit. To make sure it's, it's on. And you're done. And then when it's fully charged, it turns green. You just take the phone off. No unplugging anything. Some people don't care about wireless charging. I do. I need it. Next thing, no quiet HD. Now this has an IPS display, full HD plus, and it's not horrible, but it's not quiet HD. I, like I said, I could tell the difference. IPS, just not cutting it for me. Okay, it's just not. I don't like IPS screens at all, and I prefer screens that are, that are quiet HD. I really do. All right, next thing. The fingerprint scanner is on the rear. But unless you nail it perfectly, you're going to it's going to take you one or more times to be able to, you know, open the phone up. And I don't like that. It sh you shouldn't have to play around with, you know, did I put my finger right? I got to do it again and again. Like, I don't like that. So the fingerprint scanner is not as accurate as it could be. So that's one of the things I don't like. And the very last thing I don't like about this device is when you use the face unlock, you have to swipe up. Now, that's the issue I had with the iPhone 11 Pro Max is that, okay, it catches your face and it shows you the little unlock icon on the top, but then you have to turn around and swipe up, and I don't like that. I like to be able to just turn on the screen, look at the phone, and it opens up to my home screen, or at least give me an option to use swipe up or go straight to my home screen. Now, I prefer to go directly to my home screen. That's what I prefer. So I don't like the fact they don't even get that option. So that's not cool. All right, y'all. So let's get into the features real quick. I'm going to try to do this quickly. I might not hit every single thing, but I'm going to try to do this as quick as I can, do the best I can. So bear with me, okay? All righty. Let me see. Let's get down to sound and let's go to sound and vibrations. So here you got your ringtone notifications. You got your alarm, um, alarm volume, you got media volume, you got your call volume, you have your sync volumes, which means you can sync ringtones and notification volumes. Go down a little further, you got smart volume, which means adjust the volume for incoming call ringtone and media playback based on background noise levels, which is cool. Here you got the outdoor mode, which I told you about, which makes the speakers much louder. And then you got audio wizard, basically, you're going to get different sound sound modes. You have your normal sound, custom, vocal, rock, and pop. And here, you would, you could you could adjust down here how loud you want your volume to be. You do not disturb. You got your shortcut 
to prevent ringing, put it on vibrate. Then you got foam ringtones. You got a bunch of them you could choose from. It has here SIM 1 or SIM 2. You just go in there and it got at least 20 or 25. So plenty of choices for ringtones. All right. You got your, um, let me see, alarm sound. <clears throat> you could have different alarm sounds. You got plenty of them here to choose from. And this is going to be loud. See? That's, that's pretty loud. That's going to wake you up. That's going to wake you up. Now, I'm not going to play all of them because it's not important, but these speakers are super loud. So if you want something to wake you up, it's going to wake you up. You got your notification sound. I set that. So when you get a notification, that's what you're going to hear. Now, you do have other choices you could choose from. All you got to do is scroll down and find one you like. All right. You got effects, flip camera sound. Now, I like this. You could have it where it has no sound when you use it. You could change the sound. I'm going to change the speed, let you hear it. Now, that's what it'll sound like if you change it to sound sci-fi. Now, that, now, that's the one I use, and you got dynamic. Now, I like the sci-fi one. So you could change the sound of, you know, your flip camera when it comes up. You could change the sound or you could have it not make a sound at all. Put it on none. Okay, you have your dial tones. Dial tone, you could turn on screen locking sounds, charging sounds, touch sounds, vibration, vibrate for calls. You can have that on touch vibration, you know, your, your haptic feedback, your vibration intensity. Okay. All right. Let's go into basically storage is nothing big. It just shows you what your storage capacity is. I'm using 30.72 gigs. I got, which is 24%. And I got, you know, I got plenty of left. And then you could adjust it, go into one and, you know, delete stuff if you want to do that to make space. So you can go in there and just delete stuff if you need to. All right, let's get back. All right, let's go to the battery. Now with battery, you have here, it says up here at the top, apps are running normally. Phone has typical background battery usage, which is good. And you click up here on these three buttons, it says show, you can show all your app, your, um, how show app usage. So basically what apps are eating up the most battery, okay? Now I um, optimized this earlier. So that's why it's telling me everything is running normally, everything is good. Power Master right here, tell you what that is. Basically, you go in here, you can scan your battery, make sure it's running good. You got Auto Start Manager. You can make sure none of your apps just auto start. Like you could adjust, you could basically set up which ones turn on and which ones don't turn on automatically. So you could do that. You can go to battery mode right here, which is basically your energy saving mode. You get the first one, it's balanced. So basically this one smartly adjusts CPU performance and brightness. So this is going to make your phone run balanced. And that's probably the one you want to leave it on. Then you got power saving. Mobile data will be temporarily disabled shortly after your device um, enters sleep mode. The next one is super saver. Keep phone, um, your messages, your alarm, awake. And while Wi-Fi and mobile data are, dis are disabled. So you wouldn't have any Wi-Fi. You couldn't use your Wi-Fi or your mobile data if you have it in super saving. But you can still use your phone and you can still use your alarm. And also you can receive text messages. All right, next thing, switch, smart switch. Switch by battery level. And you can switch to super saving when battery is lower than 10%. It'll automatically go to super saving. Now, you can turn that off or you can turn it on. I have it turned on. Switch by schedule. Basically, if you don't want to charge your phone every day, you can set a time where it goes into that um, super saving mode. Now, I got it set between 11 and 8 a.m. So, basically, I wouldn't be using up pretty much any battery at all. So, I like those options you have with the battery. And it's going to preserve your battery over the long term. Your battery will end up lasting longer, in my opinion. All right, battery saving options. You have stop unnecessary apps from running in the background. It'll close background apps and boost performance to save power. 
The next one is detect battery draining apps. So any app that's acting abnormally, it'll shut those that app down. The next one is clean up and suspend apps in the background when your screen is off. The next one is auto deny apps from auto starting, which you could do that if it's an app that's constantly restarting and it's killing your battery. You could put that on where where it won't. So you click on it. Okay, that's probably in the, that's in the one I showed you previously. And low battery notification. So show notification when battery level is under 15% or 5%. Okay. All right. And battery care is the last one. This is basically telling me my battery is good. It's in good standing. Everything is cool. Okay. You can, of course, you could turn this on to adjust, you know, what time you want your phone to go into that sleep mode. All right. Next thing. You got battery optimization. Now this is cool. You can set this up basically. Now it's saying not optimized. You can go ahead and click this and push all apps for so all your apps will be optimized with your battery use. And you definitely want to make sure everything is optimized. That way you'll end up using less battery. So that's a good thing. All right, adaptive battery basically detect when apps are draining your battery so you could turn that on or turn it off detect battery draining apps i have that turned on battery percentage which is up here in the corner i got that turned on screen on time it's been over three hours the phone has been in use for three days 20 hours and 21 minutes which is what i told you um and then it shows you all the apps that i use the most okay so let's go to the next thing display you got your brightness level adaptive brightness which means it'll adjust to the available light Surrounding light, you got your night light, which is basically blue filter, splendid. Basically, it's like you could pick different modes how you want your overall um, display to look. You can go in here and change the screen color and adjust things like that. You know, I got it on splendid because, you know, I want it to look its best, but you could adjust the hue, you could adjust the saturation, and you could adjust the color temperature. Okay. Next thing you got here, you got your wallpapers. You go in here. Yeah, you, know, you have some choices. You could use um, your gallery. Now I'm using H. I usually use HD wallpapers. You have live wallpapers built in. You can use Nova wallpapers. You can use photos, or you can use um, the uh, Zeus um, wallpapers already built in. And I have some down here at the bottom. And you can scroll through and see one. Say you see one you like. And then it'll come up here and then you'll see what it looks like and you could choose it or not choose it. It's up to you, depending on what you like. But they do give you, you know, some decent choices. But you'll get, you know, you'll know how it looks up here. OK. All right. And then you just press apply. Next thing you got sleep. Now, I got this to set for sleep for 10 minutes, but you could have it set. 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and never. Okay? So if you want your screen to stay on all the time, press never, and it'll never go off until you hit the power button. I wouldn't advise that because you're going to definitely kill your battery and, and you may cause issues with your screen. So I like 10 minutes even though um, a lot of times I'm using it. But if I'm not, sometimes I just, like I said, I like just staring at the screen, especially if it's a nice screen. But you got options. All right, you got your auto. You got your auto rotate the screen. So basically, when you turn the screen, it's going to rotate. Something that iPhone don't do for some weird reason. All right, system color theme. I got it on a dark mode. I don't use light mode because it hurts my eyes. So I like dark mode. But you could you could change that however you want. Power button menu. I got it set so when you try to power the thing off. And I hope you can see that. I'm going to hold the power button down. See how that looks? Now, you can change how that looks. Now, I got it set like this because I like the way that looks. But you could actually change that. So let me show you what it looks like with just classical. See? That's kind of boring and dry looking. So let me see. Was that color? Now, you got colorful. Let me show you what that looks like. And that's colorful. You know, it's all right. But I like the elegant. All right. So you got choices even with that, if that matters to you. 
your display size, you got def I got it set for the default font size. I got it as largest font style. You could change the style of the of uh, the fonts, Velbridge and Semdor, whatever that is. But I usually leave that at default most of the time. But you could change that if you want a different um, style. You got app scaling. You got status um, bar icon manager. You got system navigation. Now system navigation is basically you can use gestures. You can use swipe up. Um, swipe up just a navigation swipe up on the home screen or navigation bars now I'm using the navigational bars and I'm gonna show you why soon in like the next minute or so but you have choices whether you want to use navigation buttons or you want to use gestures normally I use the gestures all right lift to you got lift to check the phone so you could just lift the phone up it'll wake it up and you could check your notifications because it doesn't have it always on display so every time you lift it up you can just put your you know tap i think you just swipe up and then it'll uh, you know the thing the face unlock will come on but that's cool you can turn that off or turn it on new notifications you can have the screen wake up every time you receive a notification i wouldn't put that on because it'll drain your battery um you got screen saver and you got led indicator which you'll have an led um indicator on the screen that lets you know that you have a notification so that's cool all right next thing i'm almost finished okay basically almost there you got privacy you know permission you know all that stuff show passwords i don't know anybody want to show their password you can auto fill service with google with save passwords credit cards addresses you could do that if you want all right you got your locations you could um use apps that'll sh show your you load a uh, location or you could turn that off where no apps will show your little um, location. Excuse me, getting a little tongue tied. Security lock screen. Basically, you got your screen lock. I'm using a pen. Like if I don't use my um, fingerprint sensor or the face unlock, I can use my pen. Now, like I said, you can also use a password or you can use a swipe. Or you could swipe. So you have you have options. Lock screen preferences. I have it where it shows all my notifications because I don't have anything sensitive, you know, like worrying about sensitive to be to come across my phone. Fingerprints only have one setup. You can do more than that if you like. You have your face recognition. You got your wallpaper slideshow. Basically, I like that because you could have your wallpapers change every time you wake up your device. Your wallpapers will be different. So I like that because I for me, I always want to see something different. Every time I open up my device, I want to see a different wallpaper. That's just me. Some people like to use pictures of their wives or husbands or boyfriend or girlfriend, children, a dog, you know, different things. Me, I prefer just to see different wallpapers like landscapes and food and just different things. All right. You got smart lock. Everybody know what smart lock is. And this next thing, encrypting, encryption. Now, the whole phone is encrypted. I like that as opposed to just being able to encrypt your SD card. The whole phone is encrypted. So I like that. All right. Now we get into the nitty gritty and then we're going to be done after this one because everything else is just your system, you know, your updates, support, Google services, digital well-being and accessibilities, which is not, you know, which some people need that. But we're not going to go heavily in that. Most people know what those are. So let's get into advanced.